That's a good way to start the morning right there, y'all. As I said before, I love training. I love training people. I love it. So, I just got to train my client. Two things I heard really good news. One, uh, yesterday she went to the gym on her own. Just killed her, did some legs, did some abs, and did some cardio. Burned a lot of calories, which is awesome. And today, she told me that she lost five pounds last week. So, last week was uh, uh, my first week training with her, and she lost five pounds. And she's extremely happy and ready to go and motivated. So, that's awesome. So, I'm really, really happy. But, this is going to be like a little short part of the video because I literally just wanted to say that. Let you guys know how much I love training and that, like, it's, it's just, I like being a part of people's lives. It's cool. Being a part of people's, like, stories or whatever they're changing. So, I head home because, like, like, I, like I normally say, I had to wake up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. So, I went to bed at 1, and I'm exhausted. I was planning on going to the gym right after training her, but I'm like, nah, bruh. You need to go home, take you a nap, get some real breakfast in you instead of just, you know, two muffins and some coffee, and uh, you'll go do a better session later. So, that's what I'm going to do. Go home, take a little nap, get some real food in me, and then I'll probably... I'll probably leave you at the gym around 10-ish. It's only 7.30, well, 7.20 right now. So, um, I'm heading to the gym around 10, 10.30-ish. Go work out, come back to the house, chill and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to see you guys in uh, about three and a half hours. So, three hours, three and a half hours. I'll see y'all there. Three hours later. Used to days when I'm days when I'm just doing up the squatting and making all kinds of things. So... As my lovely little Christmas jingle told you, I squat today. And I'm not saying this is the reason why I'm squatting, but this definitely definitely motivated me. So in my last video, I told you guys about a friend of mine named David. Little David. David Breast of Life, the killer. Um, so yesterday when I recorded a video, I told you he was going for a, a 490 or 480 something back squat at 150 body weight. I was not wrong, but he did That joker is 153 pounds and back squatted 480 pounds. Now, if you do the math on that, which I'm not going to because your boy sucks at math, that comes out a little over three times body weight. 3.1 decibels. And for any of you guys in the fitness industry, you understand that that's a lot of freaking weight. Oh my god. So, today, guess what we're doing? We're squatting. All right. I'd already been thinking about squatting uh, before I saw his video this morning. Uh, I was training in client, but it's ridiculous. And honestly, if I'm, if he's 150, 153, and back squats well over 70 pounds more than me, um, <laughs> I'm 215, 210. There's no reason I should not be able to hit. 450, 460, yeah, up in those numbers, close to 500. Um, and that's my goal, because honestly, I'm not even at two, uh, two times body weight, because I, if I weigh two, 210, 215, I need to be at 420, 430, somewhere in that range. And I'm at 415 right now, so I'm, I'm close, but it's just not, I'm not confident with those numbers. So, uh, I'm going to be on a mission for, I know it's going to sound crazy, for the next two years, literally the next two years, I'm going to improve my squat. And why I say two years because if I really wanted to do just strength training and do nothing but like uh, back squats and deadlifts and all this stuff, do that, I could do it. But then I would lose my uh, my conditioning, my cardiovascular fitness, which is not okay because I have RTC, Air Force, and I have to take PT tests like twice a year, once a year, twice a year. Um, and yeah, I would suck at that. So I'm not really allowed to just do nothing but strength training. I never have been since I got into college and was doing this program. And when I get to the Air Force next year, I, it won't be able to, I won't be able to do that either. So, this is delicious, by the way. So, mocha protein smoothie. No, milkshake, because it's got milk. Yeah, milkshake. Um, it's delicious. No, so my goal is going to be, I really just want to hit, my overall goal for squat is to hit 500 pounds. I would always want to be able to hit 500 pounds. It used to be 400. Now, right now, it's 450. But like my end all be all goal is to hit 500. If I hit 500 and I keep going up from there, that'd be amazing. But I've always wanted to hit 500. That's that's my goal. So that's the goal. But today we're going to the gym. 
we are going to do, wow, that's a loud, loud car, wow. Um, we're gonna do some normal back squats, basic tempo squats, some uh, pause squats, deficit squats, whatever. We're just gonna squat all day. And we're definitely gonna do some box squats. Those are my favorite to do. Um, they really train you having that heavy load in your own on your shoulders, and then really just the up and down motion to actually engage your glutes. Because if you go to a box, you go to a stop target, you go back up, and you can press through that. So that's what we we'll be doing today. Um, and I'm gonna really kind of have to chop this video because I feel it's been maybe it's been like almost four minutes. It's been pretty long, so I'm gonna chop it up, but you guys see all the like, all the good parts. And then uh, I will see you guys at the gym in about 15 minutes. But for you, it'll be one second. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And uh, yeah, we're into the session. So we're in the gym and uh, I got the hot box to myself, which is perfect because there's a spot right here I can use and I'm super excited because when I'm warm, that's when I perform the best, I'm good. I'm like already sweating, I haven't even done anything, I can set things up with this and uh, I'm already sweating. So I'm going to get into this, I'm going to go warm up and then I'm going to get some squats. I'm going to show you guys my warm up just because you see it probably already if you've seen any other videos. So yeah, after that we're going to get into it. So next thing you guys are going to see, we're going to be doing squats. We got some big numbers coming up. I got 415 and 445. I'm going to try. So, see how those sets of one until I feel like I'm about to die pretty much and then uh, I'll go to normal squats so I bring the weight down a lot and try to build my weight back up doing sets of one Just trying to go heavy today y'all I definitely do not have the legs right now <laughs> to squat that. Oh my god, that feels so rough. Man, like how can 315 after doing 465 on box squats still still feel I guess I'm going a lot further down in my range of motion, but it feels so hard. It's depressing. So whatever, I'm gonna keep pushing on. I'll probably just keep it there. I'm gonna go down a little bit, then come back up. I don't even know yet. So we'll just man, it's demoralizing. Ooh, never mind. Um, the annex is closed now, so I'm about to put my stuff up and leave. They have like every staff member coming in here to me. Yeah, but the gym is closed because um, the floor is super, super slippery for whatever reason. But the humidity is through the roof, so um, I'm about to pack myself up and leave. So I guess that's the end of my squat session. So 
Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> I'm sorry, anyway, like, this is just how it went. With all this wetness. I feel what it looks like everywhere. Just wetness, even on this, you can't really see it on this, but it's wet on the actual uh, mats too. That kind of sucks. And you can really, really see it over here. Look at all this wetness. Look at all this. This is terrible. This is horrible. Waiting for the video to end that way. But like I said, they the staff came in and they was like, hey, uh, the rain's been killing us lately. The entire floor is wet. We're kicking everybody out. You guys can go to the other gym, uh, but you can't stay here. So I was like, all right, cool. Uh, it took me like 15 minutes to put all my weights away, but I, mean, I, I put everything away and then left. So that's just how the cookie crumbles. I've never said that phrase in my entire life. Wow, that sounds so weird coming out of my mouth. That's how the cookie crumbles. I'll stop. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. all I want to do is do some more squats. But the way that 315 for two felt, anyways, I probably wouldn't have gotten very far. So maybe it was a blessing that I didn't kill myself. Um, so now I'm head home. I'm I'm so hungry right now. My stomach's like hurting right now talking. Um, so I'm head home, grab a lot to eat, and I just spill everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna grab a lot to eat, and then uh, that'll be it for today. So yeah, that's my full day of squats. I'm done. Talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends, your family, your principals, your teachers, your pets, any wild animals you come across, any politicians you may know. And if you know a librarian named Jill, let her know about my channel too. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.